New names are emerging to take over for Steve Wilkes as the next Niners defensive coordinator. And coming up on today's San Francisco 49ers report, we're bringing you the latest on the Niners defensive coordinator search. Before we dive into the latest, if you want some more short form content and more coverage from me on the San Francisco 49ers, obviously we give you daily long form shows right here on the channel. Give me a follow on X as well as Instagram, same handle on both at Chase underscore senior some stuff has really been taken off for me on social media just allows you to be a little bit more informed and with that what's going down with the san francisco 49ers and looking for their steve wilkes replacement we got you covered right now All right, let's do it. Today's 49ers report is sponsored by 8sleep. Head to 8sleep.com slash chat sports. If you want to prioritize your sleep, do it with the new pod cover. And by using that link down below, you get $200 off and free shipping. We'll tell you more about what 8sleep specifically has to offer coming up here just around the corner. As for the latest on this Niners defensive coordinator search, it's been so silent up to this point, right? Am I the only one who feels as though it's a little bit bit odd how the Niners are really keeping this under wraps and honestly it's been pretty impressive absolutely no leaks but Tim Kawakami tweeting this out on Tuesday he's hearing that the Niners might be closing in on a new defensive coordinator not sure when there will be an announcement but there could be one soon this tells me a couple of different things and what does this say to me the Niners have obviously kept this search silent they're not really allowing any of these leaks get outside of the building. Pretty impressive. And I imagine every business, every sports organization wishes they could run a business operation in that manner. It also tells me this could be an internal candidate because San Francisco is interviewing a lot of people who are inside the facility. Or number three, the new defensive coordinator could be somebody who Kyle Shanahan knows really well. Not a Bill Belichick or a former head coach who would be a splashy hire. Instead, somebody who knows this system, as Kyle Shanahan made the external hire with Steve Wilkes, he wants to go back to his roots and hire somebody who has familiarity with the scheme that D'Amico Ryans, as well as Robert Sala, was running. There's this report from 49ers Sports Talk on X. They do a great job of aggregating news, but also they have some inside sources inside the Niners building. And according to their sources, the 49ers, quote, want to move fast and shift gears to Indianapolis. Indianapolis? What do you mean, Chase? Well, next week, that's where the NFL scouting combine is taking place. And that would make a lot of sense as well, because San Francisco wants to go to Indy, and they want to scout some offensive players and defensive players. They already know what their offense is going to look like. They have the nucleus in place. We'll see what happens with Brandon Ayu. Kyle Shanahan is the play caller, but they want to pinpoint who their next defensive coordinator is going to be so the defensive coordinator can start to scout some prospects and some prospective players who are going to be a part of this Niners defense moving forward. As for the potential internal candidates, we've talked about this list Last week on the Steve Wilkes replacement show, Nick Sorison, he is the defensive pass game coordinator for San Francisco. He could be an option. Chris Kosarek is the best defensive line coach in the NFL, but he has voiced that he really likes that position and grooming, developing, identifying, ad identifying players who can really be good defensive linemen moving forward. He's done such a great job of developing players in the trenches. I think that he's going to remain as the Niners defensive line coach because that's his specialty, that's his comfort level. Daniel Bullocks has done a great job as the Niners defensive backs coach. Look at the development of D'Amador Lenore. Look at the development of Charvarius Mooney Ward, who this past year was the fifth ranked corner according to Pro Football Focus and was a second team all pro and other members in that secondary like Ambry Thomas made a leap going from year two to year three. And then you have Johnny Holland, who is the Niners linebacking coach, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, Aziz Al Shire. players like D winners and Jalen Graham. They really flashed in the preseason. I'd prefer if all of these coaches here to my right remained in their current posts. 
because that's a position of strength as far as the coaching staff for San Francisco. And I think you're limiting yourselves a little bit by not making the best hire possible. But could two future Hall of Famers be in the mix? And we're talking about two former head coaches in Pete Carroll as well as Bill Belichick. We've talked about Bill Belichick a lot here on the show. I've let my feelings on that be known. He would be not my number one hire for San Francisco to hire as the next defensive coordinator. I think he's the best option, one of the best defensive minds of all time, and Peter King, who has a lot of inside sources across the entire National Football League, said it's not the craziest idea for Kyle Shanahan to call either Pete Carroll or Bill Belichick. Here's a direct quote from his column. I wouldn't be shocked if the Niners called Belichick or Carroll if they are interested in their open defensive coordinator position. Now, as I said, we've talked a lot about Belichick here on the Niners Report. Let me pass along some thoughts on Pete Carroll, because a lot of you have reached out to me on social media. I've seen you in the comments section here on the show wanting the Niners to at least reach out. If you're going to reach out to Bill Belichick, why not Pete Carroll? He is a youthful 72 years old. He was basically fired by the Seattle Seahawks. They wanted to move into a different direction. They stuck with a new defensive mind in Mike McDonald, who led the Baltimore Ravens to being the number one defense in the NFL in 2023. I think Pete Carroll still has the energy to coach because he is that youthful 72 years old. You see how he chooses gum on the sideline. Pete Carroll, like Bill Belichick, they're two of the top defensive minds in the history of football, but why I would not go this route and why I would entertain the thought of hiring Pete Carroll as a defensive consultant, being a member of this organization in some way, shape, or form, because I value his football mind, I would not hire him as the new DC. That Seattle defense has been bad for the last couple of years, and when you're a defensive specialist and your unit, that is your strength, that is your specialty, has not been playing up to par or up to your standard, and you basically get fired by a division rival, I think his best days are behind him as a head coach and as a defensive coordinator. But then you have Greg Papa, who is the Niners' radio play-by-play -play voice, saying this on the Rich Eisen Show. I think former Seattle Seahawks coach Pete Carroll would be more of a natural fit because with Belichick, he likes to vary his fronts. It would be a very different defense. What's the best defense to run for Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, Nick Bosa, Charvarius Ward, Diamador Lenore, and Talano Hufanga? That's who you're trying to serve. The defense that the Niners are running since Kyle Shanahan has been the head coach is the Seattle defense. Carroll's the guy who did it. And with Pete Carroll running that cover three, the Legion of Boom defenses were great. And I think that Seahawks defense that won the Super Bowl and made it to back-to-back -back Super Bowls, the best defense of this generation, I think they rival the Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Ravens defenses from the early 2000s and the late 90s. But it's been a long time since those Legion of Boom defenses played up to that standard. And of course, why I like Bill Belichick, we've showed you this graphic here on the show, but for those of you who missed it, Belichick is currently without a job. Chase, why would he take this gig? He's on the unemployment line. He's one of the best defensive minds ever. I'm at least making the call. Patriots' defense this past year was elite, bordering on the top 10. The offense sucked. Belichick isn't tied to his scheme because his defensive mind is malleable, has an opportunity to lead a loaded defense, loves coaching defensive backs, but who doesn't love to coach Charvarius Mooney Ward, Diamador Lenore, dogs, but also Fred Warner and Nick Bosa. Belichick, a football historian, the Niners as an organization, one of the most historic franchises in all of sports, especially in the NFL. Bill and Kyle have a relationship. Belichick has always respected the Shanahan family. He was close with Mike, late 90s, early 2000s. And then he reached out to Kyle Shanahan after the Super Bowl loss in 2020. And Belichick is still a very sharp football mind. If you want to go all in on that quest for a sixth Lombardi trophy and you want to maximize this defense, 
Bill Belichick would be able to do that, and he'd be able to take this defense to new heights, in my opinion. That's the call that I'm making. And we've asked you about Bill Belichick before, but what's your level of interest in Pete Carroll? Because that's the first time we're bringing his name up here on the docket. Scale the interest in Carroll for me from 1 to 100 down in the comment section. One not interested at all. 100, very, very interested. Coming up next, more new names emerging who have ties to Kyle Shanahan and the San Francisco 49ers organization. Stay tuned for that. But first, today's show is sponsored by 8sleep. Really appreciate them for making today's Niners report possible. And with 8sleep, it's the high-tech solution to your age-old sleeping issues. 8sleep's Pod 3 cover slips right over your mattress, bringing heating and cooling tech that keeps you comfortable and sleeping deeper for a better, more restful night. The pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed, just like a fitted sheet, and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed as low as 55 degrees and up to 110 degrees. For me, I cold plunge every morning, I sauna every night. I love the hot, I love the cold, so I can switch it up, and that's what I do with the Pod 3 cover. In addition to keeping you at the perfect temperature all night, the Pod also tracks your sleep as well as your health metrics. I see a lot of you in the comment section. Chase, you got to get some more sleep. I'm too busy grinding here on the show, but I feel great thanks to the Pod 3 cover. What's awesome about this intelligent sleep system is that you can operate it right from the power of your mobile device and your smartphone. So utilize this to your advantage. 8sleep.com slash chat sports, $200 off plus free shipping. That link is hanging out down in the comment section as well as in the description of this video. As for those new names emerging, Pete Carroll being one of them, let's get to Chris Kiffin next. Obviously that last name very notable for a lot of casual football fans out there and diehard football fans. He is the son of Monty Kiffin, and he is the brother of Lane Kiffin. He was the Niners' pass rush specialist coach from 2018 to 2019, and Kyle Shanahan brought him into the organization back in 2018. So both Chris Kiffin, when he was the pass rush specialist, very difficult position coach to announce there as far as that position. But Shanahan hired him in 2018. They were together for two seasons, and Chris Kiffin has a long path in the National Football League. He got his start with Idaho. 2005-2006, he was just a general assistant then. In 2007, he was a grad assistant for Ole Miss, where now his brother is a head coach. 2008-2009, he was at Nebraska, offensive quality control assistant. In 2010, USC, defensive administrative assistant, handled a lot of recruiting duties then as well. 2011, Arkansas State, he was a defensive line coach. So there, that's really where his coaching career started to hit a different jet stream. 2012 to 2016 goes back to Ole Miss. He's the defensive line coach there. 2017, Florida Atlantic, defensive coordinator, linebackers coach. 2018, 2019, pass rush specialist coach. I think I got it the third time with San Francisco those two years. And then he spent a couple of years with Kevin Stefanski and the Cleveland Browns, defensive line coach. And the Browns, as we know, last couple of years have had some really, really good defenses. Now they hired Jim Schwartz to be their new defensive coordinator. And so Chris Kiffin goes elsewhere. And more Niner ties here he goes to the Houston Texans under D'Amico Ryans, where he was the linebackers coach there. And their backers this past year were really, really good for a defense that really exceeded expectations and an organization that exceeded expectations. So you have the Kyle Shanahan and the Niners ties, 2018-2019, and then you have more Niners ties and D'Amico Ryans links with him being the linebackers coach for the Texans this past year in 2023. Another new name here. Also with Niners ties, both coaching with Kyle Shanahan, but also played for the Niners for a really long time. Jeff Ulbrich, he's starting to get some buzz. Tim Kawakami throwing his name out there. More on that in a moment. He is the current New York Jets defensive coordinator under Robert Sala. More Niners ties. See what I'm getting at here? Played for the Niners from 2000 to 2009. Overlapped with Kyle Shanahan in Atlanta, 
when he was the linebackers coach from 2015 to 2019. Obviously, Shanahan took the head job with the Niners in 2017, but they coached with one another in Atlanta under Dan Quinn. Here's what Tim Kawakami had to say about Ulbrich. I will continue to guess that Ulbrich, a former Niners linebacker who remains close to many people inside the organization, would have the most motivation of those two to want this job. Would the Jets let him make a lateral move? I don't know. But I think there would be momentum for this if the Niners and Ulbrich want it to happen, which makes Ulbrich my guess. Keyword there, guess, just a guess. I don't see Shanahan and Lynch going the big name, former head coach route, a la Bill Belichick or a Pete Carroll. And I don't think that's what's happening now. More likely, it'll be somebody tied to the Seattle system. It'll be linebacker focused, and it'll be more of an up-and-comer than a legend grudgingly moving to an assistance role. I think Ulbrich, if the contractual complications can be ironed out, is the likeliest candidate. I'm not reporting it. I'm guessing it. If it's not Ulbrich, then maybe another Jet staffer, Marquand Manuel, or Texans linebackers coach, Chris Kiffin. So Chris Kiffin once again being thrown in the mix there in addition to what we're bringing you here on today's 49ers report. As for Ulbrich's coaching path, right after his playing career ended in 2009, he goes to Seattle. He's there with Pete Carroll, Seahawks assistant special teams coach. 2012 to 2014, UCLA goes the college route, linebackers and special teams coach. Then he's with the Falcons for that aforementioned stint in 2020, gets elevated. He becomes the Falcons defensive coordinator and linebackers coach, so good experience there. And then 2021 up until now, last three years, he's been the Jets defensive coordinator under Robert Sala. Robert Sala really prioritized making Ulbrich the defensive coordinator. A lot of you might be asking, well, this is Robert Sala's system. It's his defense. What does Ulbrich do? What would he do with San Francisco? How could he elevate the defensive side of the ball for the Niners after the drop-off from last year with D'Amico to this year under Steve Wilkes. Well, the Jets under Robert Sala have had awful, disastrous quarterback play. It's been a joke at the quarterback position for New York. Their defense, though, this has been steady, has been one of the best defensive units over the last couple of years under Robert Sala. That's not been the issue with that organization. It's not been the issue with that football team. They've played at an extremely high level, and Ulbrich has been a part of that. And some of those Falcons' defenses, linebacking play, overall defensive play, has been pretty solid as well. With that, we round out the show with this. Who should the Niners hire as the next defensive coordinator? Want to hear from you down in the comments section. We've given you plenty of names over the last week and change. Let us know, and as always, make sure you subscribe.